This image represents the various transformations of water. Basically, water exists in three forms, ice, steam, and liquid water. When ice melts, it becomes water, and when water evaporates, it becomes steam. In the opposite way, when steam condenses, it becomes water, and when water solidifies it becomes ice. Alternatively, ice can be directly transformed into steam by sublimation, and steam can be directly converted into ice by the desublimation process. In conclusion, the three states of water have a variety of uses. This image represents the structure of an electric circuit. The battery that generates electricity is a cylindrical structure, and it consists of a positive and a negative terminal. The anode and the cathode are separated by carbon and manganese dioxide mixture and electrolyte paste. The electric bulb ignites when the electrons flow from the negative to the positive terminal in the circuit. In conclusion, this structure is used in a variety of useful appliances. This image represents the process of sugar production. In the beginning, sugarcane is crushed and juice is extracted using a machine that has a pair of rotating cylinders. Secondly, the sugarcane juice is boiled and it is allowed to evaporate in a vessel. Thirdly, the condensed liquid is centrifuged in a large vessel to obtain refined sugar. In the end, the sugar is packed into large bags to be used in a variety of sugar products. In conclusion, sugar is a basic ingredient that adds sweetness to food.
This image compares the UK's real economic growth and unemployment from 2013 to 2017. During 2013, the economic growth rate was over 8% and the unemployment rate was below 4%. During 2014, the unemployment rate increased with a dip in real economic growth. In 2015, there was a small increment in the economic growth rate and a small decline in the unemployment rate. However, from 2015 to 2017, the slowing economic growth skyrocketed the unemployment rate. In conclusion, real economic growth and unemployment were conversely related. These two pie charts compare the world's fuel source for the year 2000 and 2050. During the year 2000, the majority of energy was obtained from coal and natural gas, while oil was the third, and nuclear power was at the fourth source of energy with very little hydropower. It is estimated that, in the year 2050, most energy will be obtained from nuclear power. The coal and oil will be used in a little quantity with natural gas and hydropower the least. In conclusion, it is projected that the world will be shifting from natural gas to nuclear power as a source of energy. These pie charts compare the waste management in the Republic of Korea, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. In the Republic of Korea, 69% of the waste material is recycled, while 22% is dumped underground and just 9% is incinerated. In Sweden, the most, 55% is dumped underground, while 25% is recycled and 20% incinerated. In the UK, 82% is dumped underground, 8% is given chemical treatment, and equal percent is dumped to the sea, while just 2% is incinerated. In conclusion, the European nations rely on underground, while the Asian country Korea depends upon recycling as a means of waste management.
This line graph represents the optimal employee output by comparing performance and the level of stress. In the first part, when there is a little stress, the employee is calm and bored. When the stress level increases there is a little improvement in his output. The employee performs optimally when the stress level is maximum. During that time the employee is energized, focused and work feels effortless. In the third part, when the stress goes down, the employee feels exhausted and he feels burnt out. In conclusion, stress and performance are directly proportional. This pie chart represents the percentage of students that selected to study in various English-speaking countries during 2018. The highest number of students, 39%, chose to go to the United States, while UK is at the second most favoured destination with 31%. Third and fourth position was held by Australia and Canada with 15 and 11% respectively. New Zealand received the least international students, just 4%. In conclusion, during 2018, the universities in United States received the most international admissions, while New Zealand received the least. This image represents the distribution of waste materials in various color-coded bins to perform a proper waste management. Green colored bin is used for organic waste including waste food and garden plants. Red bin is used for general rubbish including polystyrene material, soft plastic and hygiene products. Yellow bin is used for waste materials that can be recycled such as plastic containers, glass, aluminium cans, paper and cardboard waste. In conclusion, a proper waste disposal can be achieved with color-coded bins.
This bar chart represents the literacy rate by region and gender during year 2010. Central Asia and Eastern Europe had almost 100% literacy rates, while East Asia, Pacific region, Latin America and Caribbean had higher literacy rates in males than females. In Arab states, South and West Asia as well as in Sub-Saharan Africa had the least literacy rates. In conclusion, all regions had over 60% literacy rates and except in Central and Eastern Europe, males were more educated than females. This image represents a household fridge and its contents. In the top compartment of the fridge, meat and cheese is stored, while fruits and bakery products are stored in the middle section. At the bottom, vegetables and fruit juice bottle is stored. The top section of the fridge door has almost a dozen eggs, in the middle, milk bottles, and at the bottom, a food container. In conclusion, the proper arrangement of various food items made the fridge look tidy and well organized. This image represents the process of making wooden shoes. Firstly, a wooden log is cut using a saw into a desirable block. Secondly, the wooden block is outlined using an axe. Thirdly, a knife is used to chisel down any unwanted material. Fourthly, a spoon drill is used to bore the shoe interior. In the fifth stage, a sandpaper is used to give a finishing touch to the shoe from inside and outside. In the last step, the shoe is decorated using some colors. In conclusion, a wooden shoe is completely made by hands, and the various tools give it a proper size and shape.
This image represents a cross section of an erupting volcano through the top of a mountain. A volcano has erupted forming a conduit between the magma reservoir at the bottom of the country rock and the summit of the mountain. A crater is formed at the top, and ash cloud is expelled forming exit vents. The lava comes out from the magma reservoir passing through the conduit to the throat of the mountain, and spills out from the top towards the base of the mountain. In conclusion, new mountains, hills and rocks are formed through this geological process. The bar graph represents the percentage of adults who are overweight, from 1965 to 2015, and the pie chart shows the weight range of adults during year 2015. According to the bar chart, the percentage of people who were obese increased from below 50% to over 70% in 50 years' time. According to the pie chart, in year 2015, 6% adults were severely obese, 34% obese, 31% overweight and just 29% of adults were healthy and underweight. In conclusion, obesity increased rapidly from year 1985 and just a few individuals remained healthy and underweight. This image represents the process for production of cement and concrete. In the beginning, cement is produced by mixing limestone and clay through the crusher and forming powder. The powder is then passed through a mixer and rotating heater. The output is ground and cement is packed in bag ready to be used. For concrete production, 15% of cement, 25% of sand, 50% of gravel and just 10% of water is mixed in a huge rotating concrete mixer. In conclusion, the process of making cement and concrete seems very easy but effective.
This pie chart represents the proportion of various takeaway options selected by Australians. The most favourite food was a Chinese takeaway, with 34%, while 26% orders were for Indian food. The Italian takeaway option was chosen by just 10%, while 9% was for British takeaway. About 3% for Thai food, and the least, 1% is for Mexican, Japanese, and Greek takeaway options. 11% Australians never ordered any takeaway and 4% were in an unknown category. In conclusion, Chinese and Indian seems to be the most selected takeaway option by Australians. This image represents the poverty cycle in the human society. It starts from a poor household that has little or no food, unclean water and no options for education or schooling. That leads to diseases, infection and left with no energy to work or acquire skills. In turn, the productivity is low, leading to low or no income at all, that results in a low self-esteem and without any personal control. Followed by more children births, with sick elderly and more dependents to feed which again ends up in an even more poor household. In conclusion, without any intervention by a welfare organization the cycle has no stop in sight. These two images represent the process that leads to ascending and descending of a hot air balloon. During ascending, propane tank burner flame creates an airflow. The airflow creates an upward lift for the balloon. On the other hand, during the descending process burner is switched off. The air is allowed to escape from the top of the envelope through the parachute valve. In conclusion, the hot air balloon works on the principle of hot air to go up, creating a lift.
This image represents a scene at a medical center. At a first glance it seems that the clinic is full of patients waiting to get treated by the doctor. The nurses at the check-in is busy noting down the details from a patient, and other nurses talking on the phone with booking appointments. While sitting a patient is honking to clear his nose, behind him a red-faced little girl is waiting with her mother in line. Another patient is checking her tongue in mirror and a guy is holding his painful back. In conclusion, it seems that this medical center is very busy with patients with variety of illnesses. This image represents the flow chart of a water treatment plant. In the beginning the water is made available from a lake and it passed for a chemical treatment of chlorine, lime and alum. After mixing the chemicals it is first allowed to coagulate and flocculate and then passed no sedimentation process. Following that the filtration and disinfected procedures are carried out. The disinfected water is stored in a storage tank before sent for distribution. In conclusion, the water treatment process looks multi-staged and systematic to provide clean water for public. The pie chart introduces the main cause of worldwide land degradation and percentage scale, whereas the table shows reasons of land degradation by three regions, North America, Europe and Oceania. Overgrazing is the main reason of worldwide degradation and it reached 35%. 30% and 28% of degradation was due to deforestation and overcultivation respectively, leaving 7% for other reasons. Most deforestation and overcultivation occurred in Europe while overgrazing was the main cause in Oceania. In conclusion, overgrazing is the main cause of worldwide degradation and most degraded land is in Europe.
This image represents the various car safety features. The front and back crumple zone protect the car from front and rear impact. There are multiple airbags placed in the car cabin to protect the passengers in case of accident. The front and back seats have seat belts, so the passengers won't get tossed after an accident. There are side impact bars to protect the travelers from getting injured from side. In conclusion, all the safety features keep the passengers protected from any injury. The picture represents the stages in the life cycle of a salmon fish. Salmon begin its life in a river, where the adult fish lay and incubate their eggs. After emerging from eggs, the young salmon spend the next stage of their life in fresh water. Then, at some point in their development, the fish swim downstream to river estuaries where rearing continues. The maturing salmon migrates to the ocean, where they eventually become fully grown adults. Finally, the adult This image represents a right angle triangle. The base is called adjacent represented as letter B, the elevation is an opposite side represented by letter A, and the hypotenuse is the line joining sides A and B. There is also a picture of a funny looking hippopotamus leaning on the hypotenuse probably for the purpose of memorizing the position of hypotenuse. In conclusion, this right angle triangle has made an angle of 90 degrees at C. This picture
The picture represents different body parts of an insect. The body consists of three main parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head contains the insect's brain, eyes, and mouth. It also carries the antennae. The thorax is the central part of the body, and it bears the legs and wings. There are three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings. The insect's abdomen. This flowchart represents the four steps involved in recycling of unwanted or used materials. In the first step, manufacturers distribute the goods to retailers from whom consumers purchase them. After complete utilization of the product, the waste is hand over to the recyclers. Recyclers reproduce raw material to manufacturers after recycling. In conclusion, the art of converting waste into usable material does contribute positively to the eco-friendly environment. The line graph compares worldwide prices of food and oil from 2000 to 2011. In 2000, the average price of a barrel of oil was around $95, whereas the figure for food price index stood at about $90. Over the next eight years, there was a significant increase in the price of oil, it reached its highest level at approximately $230 per barrel, compared to about $220 for food in the year 2008. By the year 2011, the food price peaked at around $140, by contrast, the figure for a barrel of oil fell to just